What's up, Pony Hose? Andy, Andy Vlogs, wanting to do another vlog here with my son. It's like 10 at night, he slept for like 3 hours, and so I figured I would just throw up the camera and uh, do another video. Um, as the title suggests, it's going to be an unboxing. I finally got myself a current gen video card. It's been about 5 years, I got a 970, not even a TI, so that's like what, circa 2015, maybe 16? And then there was the whole crazy cryptocurrency thing, which we're not even going to talk about. But all of the video cards seriously got bought up for a year and a half, and then the price is inflated, and they're still pretty inflated. But now, finally it's calmed down, everyone is done crypto mining, and I now get to upgrade my GPU. And so, we're going to go on and unbox here the GTX, so let me grab my package. It came, new egg. New Egg had a really good deal. This was a certified pre-owned device, so hopefully it's got no issues. Oh, it looks like it's shrink wrapped. Yay. That's fantastic. It's still shrink wrapped, but I'm thinking they might have shrink wrapped it after the fact. This is from EVGA. Uh, so let's just unbox it. Um, I'm hoping that this is the original shrink wrap. It feels like it isn't. You've got a little nick here. I don't think this tape is the original tape. But it does look like everything is in order. Yes, Jordan? Open it. I am. What are you doing right now? Do you use it to Googler? So I had a choice of three different video cards. I wanted to go for, what was it? The 1060, which was 330. I wanted to go with the 1070 Ti, which was, I think, close to 400. And then the 2060, our RTX 2060, which was in between those. And so I checked a couple of websites for their, I guess their benchmarks. And while this is no 1070 Ti, its benchmarking was pretty comparable. And it was uh, about the same price, it was 379. So I'm pretty pleased about that. Yeah, there's, there's nothing else. Oh. That does not say RTX 2016, that says GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. So, I don't even know what I ordered. <laughs> and I'm too lazy to even uh, restart it. Uh, it came with the device, and it looks like it's in pretty good order. So, let me get closer and kind of show you as I open it. I hope I don't drop it. This is the single fan model. I could have chosen between three fans, but I think I went for price. It's only got the one powered cord cable. I hate all of this stuff right here, but uh, in just a second, I'm gonna go open up my computer and get this baby in the computer. Right now, I'm, I'm editing another video but I wanted to get this crap off. I hate this stuff. It, it's bad. There's like double. It looks like this isn't even the original protective stuff. I think they did this after it was reopened because if you look right here, there's a plastic thing on this too. All right, so come on and join me. I'm gonna open up the computer and we're gonna jump into this.
All right, so here's the innards of my computer. Um, I usually don't do a lot of these tutorials, but this is what we're gonna switch out. This is the 970. We're gonna switch it out for the GTX 1070 Ti. All right, before I touch any components, I'm gonna touch the metal, and then we're gonna unplug it, and then it's basically a plug and play. That's what's nice about these GTX devices. Is it just plug and play? Um, so I need to get a screwdriver and unscrew this. Luckily, I had one on my desk. Uh, perfect. Installing one of these devices are very, very easy. Very, very simple. You gotta make sure that you have the right, the right motherboard that will use it, and then you plug it in. Most of these things have a latch that you have to undo. Pull it up from the plastic, and there it goes. This one's a dual fan. You don't ever want to touch that right there. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to switch the case with my GTX. I'm gonna leave this on. This is how you can daisy chain two together. We're not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna take this off. Now we're gonna install it. Okay, there it is. Last but not least, we gotta power it. I need an eight. I have this adapter that connects to my power supply. This is a six plus two. So I just need to connect the two to the six. My other one needed six and six. This only needs a six plus two. And then you just clip it right in. There we go. All right, wiggle it a little so it doesn't come out. All right, looks good. I think we are good. I'm gonna go ahead and power it on now. All right, before I go and connect it uh, to all the components back here and fit it in its little slot, I like to power it on and make sure that I get lights or movement and fan and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Cross your fingers. Oops. You gotta turn it on. Yep, there we go. The light of the EVGA, the fan. I think we're good to go. Beautiful. All right, meet me back over uh, at my computer. Honestly, the hardest part of this is getting the, uh, the shell back on. Installing it isn't even difficult. Getting this darn piece back on. And we have video. Look, I installed my new device. All right, well, last thing that I need to do is just install the drivers. You get that from the GeForce app. Just go to nvidia.com and you can literally just download the GeForce app. It's the GeForce experience. The resolution looks really weird. And once I download that, it should be all done. Thanks so much for joining me guys, Andy with Andy Vlogs, doing another one of my silly vlogs because it's really late at night and I'm bored and don't want to go upstairs because my wife's asleep. Hit like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more, Andy with all games played, signing out.